Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to replicate model elements in Capella using the REC LPL mechanism. A REC element is the definition of the scope of model elements to be replicated, while the LPL element is an instance of those elements. REC LPL can be used in order to replicate different kinds of model elements and can be used in different contexts. Let's have a look at the main step in the use of this mechanism and it starts with defining the REC element. First, we need to define the model elements to be replicated and create the REC definition. We can provide it a name. and define which model elements will get a suffix when replicated in the RPL. The REC element is created in the Capella model and refers to the selected model elements. Now we are going to instantiate the RPL. First, we need to select the model element to find the comments to instantiate the RPL. We need to choose the rec to be replicated. We can define a suffix to be applied for this replicate. This suffix will apply on the model elements of the RPL. The RPL is created in the project and model elements are replicated. We need now to display them in our diagram. Here we can duplicate the layout of the REC elements on our LPL elements. Now that our component is replicated, we need to connect it to the architecture. Let's see now how to update a REC element. In this case, we have created a new function on the first propeller. However, we have not defined so far that this element needs to be replicated as well on the second propeller. Thus, we need to update the REC definition. The tool recognizes that we are updating the REC propeller. Modifications are going to be applied on the definition of the REC. We can see now that the REC refers to the new function. Finally, we need to update our RPL element. RPL element can be updated by selecting one of its model element. New model elements are identified. A new function will be created in the model. As before, new elements need to be displayed in the diagram. Finally, connection of the RPL elements with the architecture need to be updated. Alternatively, a model validation can detect RPL which are not up to date. Update of the RPL can be triggered from the model validation using the quick fix. To go further, RPL can be used in read-only mode in order to avoid undesired modification. In addition, a REC can be created from the whole content of a Capella library to its, its definition. Thank you and see you in the next video.